Hey everyone, it's Michael Goosebumps fan. Today I'm going to be talking about another thing like Goosebumps. Of course, one of the biggest mascots of Goosebumps is Slappy the Ventriloquist Dummy. Today I'm going to be talking about a film from 1987 called Dolls. I have seen the poster for this movie absolutely everywhere through my childhood, whether it be at uh, Hollywood Video, whether it be at Blockbuster, all of these different places. I have seen this movie cover over and over and over again and just have not seen the film. And as much as I had an obsession for uh, creepy dolls come to life type movies when I was growing up, like with Slappy, for example, from Goosebumps, Not a Living Dummy 3 is one of the first horror things I actually watched growing up. And it got me obsessed with the idea of a doll coming to life in general. It was like a creepier version of Toy Story, right? <clears throat> So I have a couple of reviews today for uh, some dolls coming to life type movies. This first one, Dolls, is something that is not spectacular by any means, but it's very much surprisingly good. <laughs> surprisingly good. I did not expect it to be as good as it was. Uh, I, again, do have some caveats to tell you about. For anybody who's younger on my channel, this film is probably not going to be for you. I would say this is more of an adult movie. There's no nudity. There's a lot of blood. But there's nothing really too kiddish about this. Again, this is just being a thing like Goosebumps because of doll comes to life type thing. Now the story itself is pretty rough. Um, I actually really dug the film. I think it has a great atmosphere to it. I think it has some really honestly creepy things about it. There is some imagery in this movie that for anybody who has not seen the film, I would be shocked to see what you have to say about the movie. I really want to dig into some reviews, looking at some other people's thoughts on this particular movie after I record my review and upload it. Um, this movie essentially about is, is about a young girl and her dad and her stepmother that are actually going out, uh, I think they're going on vacation in general, but they end up finding this house kind of in the middle of the nowhere, kind of in the woods, sort of. And this house is owned by two elderly folk who happen to make dolls for a living, very custom, personalized, unique dolls. And when the little girl walks by certain rooms and certain air vents and stuff, she can kind of hear this noise, like things giggling and speaking and whispering to themselves. And she keeps calling these things elves. And the old man and the old woman are very sweet, but the mother and, or the stepmother and the father are very just mean people, especially the stepmother. She is so mean to this little girl. The person playing the little girl, she is very sweet. She's a very much just kind of an adorable kid in the movie, you know? She carries around a little teddy bear, the stepmother throws the teddy bear out in the middle of the storm. There's this great sequence of the teddy bear possibly coming to life in the little girl's imagination and coming after the mom, or stepmom, whatever. It really has this very dreamlike quality to the whole movie, and I really like that. It's very underrated in that respect, honestly. If you look at IMDb, this film has like a 6 out of a 10 star rating, and it deserves more than that, frankly, in my opinion, it does. I think it deserves a higher rating than that, at least on an enjoyability scale, which is not what IMDb is based on, or partially is based on. I don't know what you want to say about that, but I think it deserves more. I want to give it a very high appraisal review. Um, it's not amazing, but it is good. I definitely recommend it if you haven't seen this. If you like killer doll flicks and stuff, this is pretty good, man. Um, there is some stop motion involving the dolls that may or may not be alive. And it's eerie, man. Now, throughout the film, we actually have in the first, like, half hour, we have some other people show up at this actual house, castle, mansion, whatever you want to call this thing, out in the middle of the woods. There's a fellow who picked up two younger girls who are best friends. They happen to be, like, Australian, I think, something like that. I think they were Australian, I'm pretty sure. But he picks them up and brings them to the house, too. They're very odd people, very rude. But this main guy that brought them there, Ralph, is such a sweet guy. I love the guy who plays Ralph. He did such a good job with this entire film. I actually want to look on IMDb and see what his uh, actor's name is. That is um, Stephen Lee. Stephen Lee did such a good job playing Ralph. I really, really dug his performance. I think he's one of the biggest highlights of this movie if you haven't seen it. Um, and he tries his best to be kind of a, a child at heart type guy. And he becomes like immediately best friends with this little girl, which might sound weird, but he kind of does and just kind of tries to treat her like he would an adult, just because he wants to show her some respect. And the little girl kind of ends up relying more on Ralph than she realized because he's the only person in the house that believes her that these dolls might be coming to life. And there's moments in th throughout this film that don't even use stop motion, just 
animatronics in general, puppeteering to show the dolls move and stuff. And it's so creepy. It is so creepy. Now the thing is, the film itself is not scary. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that at all. But there's creepiness to it. Again, there's an atmosphere to it. There's this musical score that's very childlike, very playful. And it works amazingly well. I think pretty much everything about the film, the practical effects and everything, just looks spectacular all the way through the movie. The, the stop motion effects look spectacular. Some of the best I've ever seen. How did Puppet Master not get it as well done as this? And Puppet Master came after this. It might have been lower budget than this, I don't know. I think it was, but still, 1987, we got this movie, and no one talks about it to this day. It's one of those really big, sad, depressing things, kind of like Dolly Dearest, if you've ever seen that little doll coming to life movie, which was really fun, and no one likes it. No one likes that movie. It's not exceptional or anything. Nobody's saying it's an Oscar-worthy movie, but it was good, and no one talks about it. This is the same situation. This is actually higher budgeted, I would say, compared to Dolly Dearest, even. <clears throat> I like this movie a lot. I think it has so much to offer. It brings so much to the table that is just plain out enjoyable. Just a fun time. It has a lot of humor to it, especially especially with Ralph. You know, he's just really down to earth and sweet and funny. And he's put in such a bad situation with these dolls possibly coming to life and killing people. Uh, again, there is a lot of pretty horrific imagery in this. It's not scary but horrific imagery. So if you're a young child and you happen to be a parent or anything, watch or letting your kid watch this show or this movie, uh, be ready. Because there's some stuff, like the attic scene, for example. Well, the two different attic scenes, but you know what I mean. Um, the attic scenes, they're scary. <laughs> for somebody like myself, I'm terrified of many, many things. Attics was not one of them until this movie. This movie scared me, um, but I'm a chicken, so I'm not going to say that it's actually a scary movie, but there are things in it that genuinely kind of creep me out. But again, the atmosphere is what I watch this movie for. I recommend it highly. If you have not seen Dolls, you're missing out, especially if you like this kind of slappy the ventriloquist dummy coming to life type thing. If you're into this, you're going to like this movie. I really think that, and I honestly recommend it. If you end up watching it because of my review, I would love to hear what you have to say down in the comment section about your thoughts on the film, your thoughts on my review, whether you agree with me, whether you disagree with me, or anything like that. I love talking about weird stuff like this. That's why I do a whole channel based around Goosebumps. Uh, but anyway, guys, if I had to rate Dolls on a five-star basis, again, my five-star basis is mostly focused on enjoyability. And then if it's not so much enjoyable, I try to rate it on quality. With this movie, I enjoy it a lot. I think it's a really solid flick. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. I'd give it a four out of five stars. I liked it. I recommend it. If you haven't seen it before, check it out. It's pretty solid. But again, it is not a kid's movie. I stress that immensely. It is not a children's film by any means, and especially with the gore and stuff. There's a lot of that in here. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you guys today, and goodbye.